All right, we are back and we are live. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy. I'm in the house. Ready to rock it with Lisa again. We only got half an hour today. We got some special guests for you guys. So I just got back from a walk. So like we are not scripting any of this. Lisa will tell you. We got Jared backstage. We popped a few seconds ago. Like, Jared, hurry up. Wait a minute. What's up, dude? Now Jared's in the house. So if you're here and you can hear my voice, give me a quick thumbs up in the comments section. Let me know that you guys are hearing me loud and clear, and we are going to get going right with Lisa right away, because we ain't got time to waste. Let me see who's in here. Give me a shout out wherever you guys are from. Quentin Green's in the house. All right. By the way, I'm rocking the Cashflow Tri Blue today. I got a different color for every day of the week. Quentin's in the house. We got a few of you guys in the house. Let me get the comment section real quick. Tell me your name. Tell me where you're dialing in from today. All right. We got a what up. I got a what up from somebody, Facebook user. All right, let's get this. That is Quentin. Here we go. Lisa, welcome back. Let's go. Hey, Fast and Furious. This has been, um, I feel like I have an eight hour job every time uh, I leave one of these calls. So it's been really good. Um, today, we're going to analyze uh, two, deal, uh, two deals with Jared. And Jared's going to help me analyze another deal uh on uh with brennan and anthony and uh they're all three in calgary um so we can start with uh the one with jared if that works yeah let's give everybody uh, a quick quick recap for the last three yeah. days so lisa jumped in here three days ago we're here for half an hour per day we're live on cashflow tribe uh facebook group and lisa's trying to get a deal done in 30 days so in the first yeah. couple of days we, we, uh, we kind of skipped ahead and fought some limiting beliefs and moved all that stuff aside. We talked about private lending. We reached out to people. We actually looked at a deal yesterday. So today we're hoping to evaluate a few deals yep. and just get right into the heart of deal making. And we are not afraid, Lisa, yep. that we don't got the money. We're not afraid that we don't have the experience, right? In three days, I've got a, a money partner step up. I've got a couple other options for money. I've got uh, a lender step up. So um, we're ready to, to go. Three days. Um, Let's one of the them. challenges has been finding a realtor. And okay. uh, I had a realtor um, that I've been talking to. Um, he wants me to sign an exclusive agreement with him before, um, before I can... Uh, oh get Ooh. any comps so Ooh. i just wanted to get your take on that and okay. see what i should do from there because i, I will we'll make this money. succinct and to the point lisa you are an investor looking to, to make some some uh, some traction here as a new investor the tendency is that take all these professionals and and expect that they know exactly what's going on expect that they're serving you if you're a realtor and I understand that you want people to sign cooperation agreements and in agreements where you basically run the show. I get that you want to get paid at the end of the day. But if in the very first conversation, when a brand new investor comes to you, you say you either sign on with me or I'm not going to work with you. Shame on you. That is a horrible practice. I don't even need to know who this agent is. But that is a horrible practice. This is an investor looking for some clarity. Why in the world would they commit to buying a product before they ever get to sample it? You haven't sent them a comparable sale. You haven't taken a half an hour to have a conversation. You haven't given them any advice. You haven't given them any information. You, you've done absolutely zero except say, you got to sign on with me. So you know what? That practice is ridiculous. If you're an agent, quit it because Canadian investors won't tolerate that shit. And I'll tell you why. We are becoming resourceful, independent people, and we are here to win, and we will work with agents and, and we will support the agent community as long as the agent community supports us. We are the customer. Lisa, you are the customer. So in any business, if you walked in the front door and they said, sign this contract, mm -hmm. walk away, walk out the door the other way and find another agent. So that's my entire rant. Back to positive Ben Humble. Listen, I, I just got from a workout. So Lisa, we just need to... So you're all pumped up. Yes. He, he, I think he was doing push-ups or burpees. How dare you tell Lisa to sign a contract? That's ridiculous. We're getting back over here. Okay. Enough so with the antics. We one, only have a few minutes. One other quick question on that. He also wants proof that I have approval of funds. Is that a thing? And I want proof that he doesn't have uh, judgments against him. I want proof that he has money in the bank account. And I want proof that he closed deals last month. It's oh. not a thing. 
Okay. Listen, I understand why, but the way that they go about it creates more constraint and problems. So he wants to make sure that you're not going to make a bunch of offers and you're going to follow through. You have intent to purchase, right? But we all understand. I want to get something out of the way real clear. Nobody's making cash offers. Like this, this, this idea in a hot market that everybody has to go cash, no conditions is reckless. Mm -hmm. We need to make offers with terms in mind. We need to have conditions in our offer writing process. They are there to protect you as the consumer, as the purchaser. They're there to protect the seller. They're there to allow for a due diligence period. Nobody in their right mind would go and buy a car without an inspection. Mm -hmm. Nobody should be forced to buy a car without the ability of doing an inspection on the car. Nobody should be forced to buy without looking under the hood. The contract and the terms give you the right to look under the hood, and that's called responsible buying. So if somebody says, you got to have the cash, or you have to go all cash, or you have to sign a contract, run the other way. That is not an agent. That is a broker in the worst sense of the words. Okay. All they want to do is transact. They don't care about you. They don't care about really what you need to accomplish. They're not really working for you. They're working for them. Serve. If you're going to be a realtor, serve your customer. All right. Okay. Fire right outside the gate. So Lisa, I am your defender okay. because I have been in your boat and I used to be swindled by this thinking. And listen, there's a ton of great agents and I'm this, this, this live may create some noise. There's a lot of great agents and there's a lot of bad agents. Like every industry, there's good practitioners and bad practitioners. Being an agent isn't good and bad. People are greedy or selfish or kind or caring it's people the right. people need to start thinking about helping people so let's get into the deal you are not going to do anything with somebody who goes you have to give me a contract you have to do this you have to do this if that's what it is out the gate say thank you next okay Great. okay and we will deal with proof of funds when it matters okay we're okay. not going to be throwing your private information out to random people who don't know you who frankly aren't working for you until you make them sign a contract none of that is is None of that is good for you. It doesn't serve you. Right. Make okay. sense? All right. Good. good. Let's Great. get this party rolling. Let's get so, uh, Jared up and uh, talk about this at 955 Lake Christina Way, Southeast. Um, it's uh, six. It was listed for 649 uh, Didn't sell. Um, looks like it has lots of opportunity for um, a good flip. So tell me, what can you tell me about the property and, and uh, why in a lake community where you have lake access, why wouldn't this one have sold? Okay. Well, you know before, what? We, before we jump in real quick, let's just introduce Jerry so that everybody knows who he is. Okay. And uh, I'm just going to slow us down just a wee bit because I got us a little excitable. So I'm sorry, guys. And I uh, just want to introduce Jared. I'm going to pull up a little bit of a Word document or spreadsheet. So as Jared's talking, sharing data, unless Jared, you have that readily available that you want to pull up. Otherwise, I'll just have something so we can track with you. I don't. You go ahead. You go ahead. Okay. Man. So let, go ahead, Lisa. You're in charge. Introduce your friend. Sorry, Jared. So Jared is an is an investor in Calgary, and he's uh, uh, really good at analyzing deals. And uh, he was uh, recommended to us by Wayne Hillier, who's uh, I think a realtor and and uh, investor coach in Calgary. So uh, Jared knows the Calgary area and um, uh, these properties. Yeah. So, I mean, Lisa, we're looking at this property 955. This is actually a property that I looked at uh, two months ago and they've actually dropped their price. So as you can see, it's expired. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it went expired two weeks ago. They had initially listed the property for $750,000. Yeah. So they've done multiple drops on this property because the story behind this property is that it is a family that lives in BC was planning on moving to Calgary mm -hmm. and the patriarch of the family ended up getting a better, a, a better offer job in BC. So they ended up just turning around and selling this property before they even moved in. Yeah. So what they actually did with the property is if you look at before uh, photos from this property, before they listed it, it they've actually painted the exterior. So they've okay. already put about, you know, between eight and twelve thousand dollars worth of paint on the exterior of this house. Mm -hmm. 
So basically what we first need to do, obviously, is we need to get comparables. So we're going to go to our realtor and we're going to get them to, to bring us comparables within the past three months. Um, something that's in the, typically you're lo asking a realtor to get you between, we're looking at square footage of 1229 on this property, anywhere between, you know, 1150, 1300 square feet. And it's a buy level. So we're going to be wanting to look for buy levels as well. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so like Ben had said, you, if a realtor is coming at you and asking you to sign an exclusive, tell them to kick rocks. You want okay. to be working with three, four, especially if you want to get that first deal or that next deal, you want to be working with four five, six different realtors. And you want to be telling them, listen, I'm not exclusive to anybody. The first one who brings me my next deal is the one that's going to be getting paid. Okay. Right? I like that approach. And, and that's going to, exactly, Ben. And that's, that's what's going to, that gives incentive to these realtors to be able to get, to bring their next deal to you. Right. Okay. You say, I'm a trigger puller. I have money ready to go. Whoever brings me a deal first, you're getting paid. Um, okay. And so my realtor brought me these, these comparables. Um, did you get some comparables yourself? Nope. I couldn't get any from, cause he wanted me to sign the agreement. Oh, I see. Okay. I got you. So, guys, give, me, give me, give me the uh, street name, if you will, for the property so I can take some notes. Here. Just Nine, okay. 955 Lake Christina Way, Southeast. Lake Christina. Okay. So we got Christina. All right. And then what's the asking price, guys? Just give me some context real quick. 649888. Asking is 649888. Okay. Boom. All right. My friend, back to you. By the way, fully agree with everything you're saying. Love it. Yeah. Okay. So, I have some comparables here. Um, I'll just shoot out some addresses and numbers to you here, Ben. 1126 Lake Christina Way Southeast. Okay. Sold for $895. Okay. Even. It is 1282 square feet with five bed, three bath. And it is a bungalow. Five bed, three bath? Five bed, three bath, yeah. Got it. Okay. The, ne the next comparable we're going to be looking at is 1108 Lake Wapta Road. I'm just going to guess on that. Wapta. Sure. Wapta. <laughs> Wapta. Okay, we're going with that. Yep. All right. uh, four bed, three bath. All right. 1193 bath. square feet. Four, three, 1193. Okay. And it's a bungalow. Okay. And what did and that sell for? Uh, that sold for 780 even. Okay. And the next comparable that we're going to be looking at is 124 Lake Bonavista Drive, Southeast. 124 Lake Bonavista. Okay. Yeah. Five bed, five bath. Seven five. Okay, cool. 1235 square feet. Okay. 1235. This one's a different style. It's a four level split. So we're going to take that into, to, to, into consideration when we, when we run these numbers. Okay. Like it. okay. And seven fifty five even is what it's sold for. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So those are our three comparables that we're gonna um, compare this one to. Now let's. Okay. So we don't have all the information on this one. So uh, Lake Christina Way, we're four bed, three bath. Okay. Twelve twenty nine square feet. All right. By level. Hey, what did that go for? And this one sold, well, it went expired. This is the one we're, we're evaluating. This <coughs> Got is it. the deal we're evaluating. And it went expired at 649 Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, what was the amount? 649? 649 Okay, yep. so expired listing, expired at. Okay, cool. Got it. Beauty. Perfect. Okay, so typically first thing you want to do is you want to take a look at the pictures. What do all the pictures look like in the in these houses? Those comparables are fully renovated. Okay. They are fully renovated, very high end finishes. Mm -hmm. um, 1126 Lake Christina Way, if you look on a map, it actually backs onto a green space. And it's a little further and deeper into the neighborhood than any of the other properties. Now, you're going to take that into consideration because it's going to be quieter in that mm -hmm. neighborhood. It's going to be quieter. There's going to be less traffic. And, and since you back onto a green space, your, your backyard is going to be beautiful, right? Yeah. Espe especially because the backyard goes down a big canyon. Mm -hmm. So you have beautiful views of, um, 
of uh, Queensland and Deer Ridge and all that stuff. Okay. So that's why that one went, went for eight ninety five. So we're going to take that into consideration, right? The more the, the closer comps you're going to be looking at is the other two, eleven a o eight Lake Wapta Road, one twenty four Lake Bonavista Drive. Okay. So those two styles. So so Lake Wapta is a bungalow. Uh, Bonavista drives a four level split and ours is a bi level. So we have to take that into consideration, right? Are bi levels so, popular or no? They are, especially in Lake Bonavista. That, yeah. that era of house, when they built all those houses, you'll see a lot of bi levels in, in Lake Bonavista. What yeah. a lot of people are doing if they're flipping is they're taking these bi levels, they're taking the front door, moving it up. And they're turning into these these by levels into raised bungalows, mm -hmm. right? That's gonna cost you a lot of money. Yep. So, so basically, we're looking at you know between seven eighty, seven fifty five, eight ninety five. With the square footage of this house, I would I would put the after repair value if we're doing it as a flip at probably about the eight thirty mark. Okay is where I would put this one, especially because 955 is also a corner lot. Yeah. Because it's a corner lot, that's also going to increase the value, right? Because it's a very large yard. So we're going to raise that. So so 830 is about the after repair value on that property, right? Okay. And how many days, hey brother, how many days on market do you think 830 is? Is that talking a month or talking less? Less than 30 days, Ben. Easy. Okay. Um, Easy. So if for we those go, of if, you guys that aren't following along, just how many days do you think it would take to move this house on market at eight hundred thirty thousand? That's really what I'm asking here. Yeah. Great, thank you. Yeah. So you're going to be looking at about no more than thirty days, um, depending on your realtor. If your realtor is asking you for an exclusive, chances are he doesn't move houses very well. So, uh, <laughs> truth. <laughs> truth bomb. My, truth give, bomb. Give my man some love, by the way. Everybody at home, give Jared <laughs> some love. He's dropping some good truth here today. So give him a little so, bit of love in the comments. So yeah, um, 830, 60 days. Now we need to do a little bit of what we need to go walk through the property, see what kind of renovations need to be done on it. Okay. Now you took a look at the pictures, uh, I assume. Yeah. Say, you want me to uh, share let's those see. pictures? Let's go for it. Yeah. Let's share those. Okay. Yeah. If you yeah. got them, good. All right. Yep. You got our spreadsheet. Just keeping us true on time. We're about halfway through the session today. So okay. let's go quick. Sure. And it, I think Jared knows, but we only have 30 days to get a deal done. So we are cranking it? through. Can you guys see it now? Nope, not yet. Try again. Okay. It's saying I'm sharing with you right now. So time is money, Lisa. Let's go, Lisa. <laughs> Come on, let's give us. Yes. Okay. Can got, got some music for Lisa as we. Can you see it now? Nope. Not yet. It says it's sharing, so. Don't don't take us the commercial break. If you're at home, make us make sure you give us a quick share. We've only got a few minutes left here today with our good friend Jared and Lisa's trying to get a deal. So if you're at home, give us a quick share, give us some comments, give us some love, and say, let's go, Lisa. Oh, it's, let's go, uh, Lisa. It's not allowing me to share. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, hold on. We that got is something. mine. I got it. That yep. is mine. Well, that's you. Oh, Do you have it? That is me. All right. Okay. So here, can we here add you to stream? Let me throw you to stream here. Here we go. You are live. Your screen is live. Yeah. Let's go, right. Lisa. Thank so you. So this, this is 955 Lake Christina Way. Okay. So we're just going to quickly go through these pictures. Nice big lot. These are some dated ass uh, uh, handrails. Okay, we're just going to go through this real quick. Really dated kitchen, mm -hmm. right? Really dated kitchen. What the condition would you good. give this, Jared? A, a, B, C, or D for the folks at home? I would probably give this a, as is, I'd give it a C. A C, okay. And then C. what kind of neighborhood is this? Neighborhood. This is in a very high-end neighborhood. This is yeah. Very high-end neighborhood. That's so right. fair to say the neighborhood's an A, is that correct? Yeah, a neighborhood is absolutely an A. 
Okay, and so neighborhood is A, and then condition of property is, is going to be a C in your opinion, yeah? We're going to go C minus because we're looking at, the, at this basement wow. here. We're looking at this. Lots of work needs to go into this basement. Almost yeah, a that full. Would literally be an a, that would be an A plus in Windsor, Ontario. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are living This, live a, this is a lake community, and uh, people, okay. like, strive to get into this community. I got you. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That's what I needed to know. Keep That's right. So we're, new kitchen, we're probably looking at. $14,000 to redo the entire kitchen. Okay. Um, chances are we're probably going to want to take out these walls, open up that space. That's going to be a, an engineered beam. You're looking at about $8,000 right there. Okay. Um, we're going to want to probably redo all of the flooring. Mm -hmm. uh, depending if you're going to do LVP, you're looking at about $5 per square foot, $3 for carpet. If we're going to do carpet on the downstairs. Yeah. Uh, a new full. Um, give a me new a number. Full. Give me a number on flooring. Just give me a range. Uh, flooring, twelve thousand. Okay. Yeah, 000. I, um, yeah, twelve thousand. Yeah. Okay. Next. Okay. Uh, we're gonna take redo all this here, right here. Um, yeah. carpet at this, carpet the stairs going upstairs. Get rid of all this old, whatever this is. Um, so to redo the entire basement. Oh goodness, we're probably looking at forty thousand. Okay. Now, now the forty thousand also is going to include this half, this uh, this half bath here. Yeah, right. got it. Um, because typically for a half bath you're looking at about four grand. For a full bath you're looking at about five, six. Um, for the entirety of the property of the house, you're probably going to be. Oh goodness, what did I do? Uh, I lost that. There it is. We're probably looking at with contingencies. Uh, for for go over and all that, we're probably I budgeted myself a hundred thousand oh. dollars. That's the for, total total renovation. That's for a saying. full renovation, it that includes um, that includes your labor and your materials. Okay, so so far we have seventy four grand with what you've quoted plus, and right. you're going to add another about twenty five thousand bucks for renovate for that's uh, materials for contingency is what I like to add that yeah. on top of contingencies. Okay, so that's basically oops. Right. That's right. The, and the, the reason I do that, Ben, and, and the, everybody should be doing this is always mm -hmm. underestimate your ARV and overestimate your, your, uh, amen. Your Say that one more time for the people. Always, in the back. always, always, always underestimate your after repair value and overestimate your, your, come options. on now. Some of y'all be doing that backwards. We the know what it is. The no. reason that you do this, Ben, is because if you can make money with these inflated and deflated numbers, you're going to make even more money if you go under your renovation and right. you're over your after repair value. I like it. I like it. I okay. had, I had run a, a budget myself and I had come up with 120 K including okay. contingency. So I was a little over what you had. It's um, not over. That's more conservative. That's, that's more that conservative. I'm, that's all I'm that good is. With that too. Lisa, I'm good with the worst case scenario. Cause then that'll help us. So let's take the 120, Lisa, this is your deal. You got to live with this data. So okay. let's Great. go renovation budget. It's going to be 120,000 folks at home. We did that very quickly. It's not that complicated with pictures and a little bit of experience. It so. looks like this on my sheet. Okay. okay. All right. So let's run through it real quick. So we got $120,000 of renovations. We expect the yeah. ARB to be around $830,000. Okay. Uh, perfect. And then let's just put in some carrying cost and closing. What do you think is a reasonable carry and closing on this while we get this done? Um, me or Lisa? Let's go with you first, and then we'll go to Lisa. <laughs> sure. For carrying costs on this, we're looking, including financing, uh, depending on who you're going with. I typically go with Calvert Home Mortgage. We're looking at about thirty-five thousand dollars for 35, for interest okay. for interest and holding. And I Beautiful. had forty-one seven thirty-four and forty-one. So looked at Calvert as well. All right, we're gonna go with forty-two grand to keep it nice and tight, and that way we're doing this uh, in, a, in a very conservative way. Okay, cool. So. Uh, so far, so good. So keep going, my friend. Can we see your screen, Ben? Your yeah, well, you will in just a second. Are we done there? Okay, cool. By the way, keeping us honest, we got about six minutes left on today. Oh, my God, the time is passing so quickly. But we're getting so much done, too. So, Jared, real, real good, man. It helps to have a friend who knows what they're doing. you got a friend and me. All right, here we go. This is our pro forma budget. You should be able to see it in three, two, one. And boom, there we go. I've been building this out just in the background on Excel while Lisa's been talking. 
So yeah. we've got the property, we've got the asking price, we've got square footage, we've got the comparables. And I just made a quick pro forma renovation budget. Why is it pro forma? Because we might have to refine these numbers down a little bit, get exact costs from contractors, but this is a very good starting point. So we're taking this 100 to 120. So ARV is 830 minus the rehab, minus the carrying cost and closing. Uh, so far to break even and make zero dollars, we cannot pay any more than 668. This is where we're at today. Okay. All right. So where are we at thinking? -wise? That's right. Um, so I would say I would want to make an offer of like 590, 590. Well, let's put some math because now we're going to guess here. I think that you should have, and everybody at home, if you're going to be in the flipping space, you should have a percentage profit because this is a business. Okay. So if you want to operate at a 10% profit of purchase price, I'm okay with that. 10% of ARV, I'm okay with that. I think you should pick one number and create a profit margin around that number. That'll help you stay congruent when you're looking at offers and not just guess. Make okay. sense? So yep. in my world, I, I think 10% is an easy standard. So if I'm 830 resale price, I want to make 83 grand. That's a very clean number for me. We can start there and adjust. Okay. So if I just take that number and I, again, Lisa, we're going to have to get comfortable if that's where you want to be, you know, minus uh, $83,000. Okay, our max allowable uh, purchase price, max allowable offer, it's called MAO, is going to be 585000 Do we see how we got there? Yep. Do you agree or disagree? And you're welcome to disagree here. This is mentorship. This is not forced, forced real estate buying. <laughs> nope. Okay. What, what about you, pal? What do you I think agree. About this thesis? 585 is exactly the number that I had in mind, Ben. Um, okay. And that is actually what I offered on this property, believe you it did. or not. Okay. Yep. And what was the what was the outcome of that offer? We were told to kick rocks. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. But isn't it cool, guys? How look at the thinking. We all have the same thinking. So if this is really cool that we landed on exactly the same number. I haven't met you prior to like three seconds before this call. So this is right. really, really interesting that we would come up with exactly the same number. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I like what you're saying, Ben, 10% uh, profit of your after repair value, anything less, in my opinion, and for most flippers out there, isn't worth your time. Okay. So you made an offer. You, you were told to kick rocks. You didn't even have a, uh, not, no, no counter offer, no response, nothing. Nope. We, we were, our, our, our realtor came back to us and we gave, told us that their realtor said not a chance. So is there, is there, um, in Alberta, I notice in BC and other provinces, I can see what it last sold for. Is there, um, that in Alberta or can you find that out from your realtor? Finding out what, sorry. What, what, the last what sale the property price. last sold for? Yes. So it's called honestdoor.com. Okay. And that gives you quite a large amount of information so if we go to honestdoor.com and type Pull in it up. No, yeah, let's absolutely. do that right now let's, let's do it together do by the way we got two minutes left on today's call so excited if you're right. excited at home give lisa some love give jerry some love this has been a really good call so far here and yes. i appreciate everyone who's been messaging and uh giving support and advice and in the back end i so appreciate it I love it. Okay, so we are here. You know what, Jared? Let me give you a screen share, buddy. I'll let you do it. Go for it. All right. So here we are. This is what, let's go back. Honest Store. This is what Honest Store looks like on the front end. Lake Christina Way, southeast. And this is going to give us a ton of information about this property. This is going to give us a bed, bath, floor space, land size, year built. Kind of the Honest Door price, what they think the property's worth. Um, the city assessment, it'll tell you how much the city assessed per year. Last sold price is right here. Uh, February 10th, 2022. That is when the, the that mm. family had bought the house. They bought oh. it for 623 at 900. So the reason that they told us to kick rocks is because they'd be paying for this house, even though they never lived on it. Lived in That's it. an important fact to know. Absolutely. Very, very important. Okay. So. Let's let's clarify a couple of things in the last minute we have. By the way, should we have Jared again? 
Who wants to bring Jared back? I think Jared is a stud. Jared, you're doing great, buddy. Thanks, Just man. awesome, awesome. Yeah, everybody wants Jared back. Is this Canada wide or only Alberta? This site is primarily for Alberta, uh, right, Jared? Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. Uh, oh so no, sorry, wants- my apologies. Honest door is Canada wide. So this will do. Let me. Let, that's interesting. Interesting how technology keeps growing here in Canada. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Ontario too, because you can get some people excited if it does Ontario. Absolutely, you betcha. Okay, well, look at that, folks. Ontario. All right, cool. I'm gonna double check this. Uh, I'm gonna use it myself as soon as we're done here. We learned lots. Um, today. We have learned a lot today. So, a couple important things. It's really important to know what they paid for it because this will help us dictate motivation. If we know that they paid that price for the deal, which we could do that on the very front end before we even do the evaluation. Part of mine, if we have access to these resources and tools, folks, I hope that I want you guys to shave time and not spend a lot of it on analysis. If you if you can get indication on what the price is, I prefer to call the realtor directly and ask if they're flexible. First thing I do, because it's the quickest path to an answer. If I can pull it up on the Internet and find out what they paid for it, then common sense is this. Nobody really wants to lose money. Sometimes they don't have a choice in a really tough market when they really need to sell the property. Yeah. It is what it is. You made it. You, you made your bed. You have to lie in it. So the only thing we would do here is we could make another offer. We could either go with some creative financing. We could use a different strategy here to put some 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 other elements into the terms, which may make it a little bit more attractive for them. Uh, we may also want to call the real estate agent, the listing agent directly, because then if we can do that and we don't need an agent to represent us in cases like this, they may only charge half the commission to their seller, which is what they were going to get anyways in net commission and we could save on the buying commission and then that way there's at least some room for us to negotiate on price so there's some tricks that we can use we can cut out some middlemen uh to try to make this work but what we really need to do is not speculate on why we need to know why so i guess jerry the last question for you is do we have any idea why other than price did you get any feedback of what may move the needle in terms or otherwise from these from this uh, listing agent we did we wanted, they wanted to at least have their, their, um, they wanted to get what they paid for plus their, um, their realtor fees so that they were out of pocket and nothing for this house. Got it. Now, does that mean that they need to get all of it on closing or did you guys ask if they're willing to defer receiving any of the monies till later? We did ask them. We did mention, you know what, we're, this is likely going to be a flip. We have budgeted quite a, a good profit. If mm-hmm. you're willing to wait three months, We will Mm. give you a little bit of cash. We're willing to put that in legal paperwork. And? They still told us no no dice. They needed the money to, to, uh, because they had already sold their other house. So they needed to buy another house. So they needed that money to be able to close on their their, their new house. And do you know when the next house closes? I don't. That is not a question that came up. Cool. Okay, so Lisa, uh, fantastic. Uh, this is one of a few different leads. What we want to do is we want to kind of follow up here, whether yep. we write our own offer or just call the agent directly and just say, hi, I, you know, I work with Jared. Sounds like he already made an offer and, you know, we'd like to pursue this property, but we need some more information. We okay. need to understand a little bit more clearly here. Not that it's a no go at, at that purchase price, but it doesn't give us the flip exit in the way yep. that we want it. So we might have to consider a different exit opportunities. Maybe we keep this thing a little bit longer. Do you know what the appreciation here is, Jared? We're looking at about one and a half percent per year. Okay, so pretty low in relation yeah. to the rest yeah. of the country. One point five percent per year. Okay, that is low. Got it. Okay, so not a whole lot of growth from the appreciation side. No, no, and and, and that's pretty typical of Calgary, to be honest with you. Okay, all right. So I guess I, the advantage is Calgary versus Ontario. I don't know Alberta, Ontario. It's a tough debate. Everybody's having it. I'm just doing it publicly. <laughs> no land transfer tax. That's all I got to say. Well, yeah. that's a, that's an advantage. No land transfer and you can actually buy a house for $623,000. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Somebody's saying if they paid six twenty three nine plus 12000 exterior paint, they're in for six thirty five. dollars Am I missing anything? I think we're missing uh, some more numbers in this data. We're actually looking at a pro forma budget. We'd have to go and check some of these numbers. But we are officially out of time. We got to stay honest. We are actually over time, so we got to bounce out of here. Jared, thank you so much. Where can people uh, connect with you, bro? I'm sure, Jared, you'll get some follow-up from our from our tribe. Yeah, here. yeah, absolutely, tribe. Go head over to uh, head over to Instagram at Weightlifting Investor. Pretty simple. At Weightlifting Investor. 
You Man, bet. Awesome. Awesome. And yeah. Lisa. All right. So that's, that's Great. it for Jeremy. Gonna, we'll see him soon. Lisa, yep, tell us. The last follow up with the realtor and ask some of those questions. Um, I'm going to, um, uh, look at a couple of others and we have one with Brennan and Anthony to talk about probably tomorrow. All right. That concludes day number four. Tomorrow we're coming back on day number five, folks. Cashflowtribe.com. Open up a free account. Join us today. Uh, if you follow us on the Cashflow Tribe Facebook group, I can see all of your posts and comments so we can keep the convo going. Also, after every single one of these, Lisa goes live for a few minutes and shares the homework with you so you can follow along with Lisa's journey. You can see what she's doing. We're also sending this out via email to you guys. So if you want to get on the, if you want to get with this story and you want to be a part of this and maybe get a chance to be live with us in the future, I think this is such a cool idea. I'm so excited for Lisa. We are four days in and we are close to getting the deal. And we're thankful to our friend Jared for investing his time here with us and his knowledge. So good. I like Jared. Maybe I should do a deal with Jared too. Guys, should I do a deal with Jared? Yes. Maybe we all need to do a deal. The weightlifting investor on Instagram. That's a great name, by the way. All right. Yep. Lisa, tell them all goodbye and we're out of here. Thank you, everyone. Uh, keep your your insights and thoughts on these properties coming, and uh, I read read them all. All right. See you guys tomorrow, two thirty Eastern time. Do not be late because we'll be here, ready to roll, with thirty days to a deal with Lisa in the house and your boy Ben Humble. Cashflowtribe.com. Peace out. Stay humble. See you tomorrow.